this is going to be a great overview of the meaning of the coronavirus. I have the meaning of it in numerology, the num what the numbers mean, just so we get this interesting perspective. So here we go. Coronavirus, destiny number is 11, okay? So that means describes our character and inner strength. That means strength and tension. So it's very much about the strength of us, the strength of our character, the strength of our mind, and tension. Yes, it's creating tension. But like a workout, you have tension to expand your muscles. Here's an interesting one. The soul urge number is seven. Well, look at this describes our inner ideals and hidden desires. Seven is the desire for a rich inner life. Now you've all had that desire, even at the price of loneliness and isolation. So exactly what it's doing, right? We're in isolation. Personality number is all the consonants. It describes real value of our character for success through our efforts and patience. So how interesting is that one? How interesting is this numerology of the coronavirus? So just to give you a heads up as well, the coronavirus is also has a patent on it like many other viruses. So just if you do some research on it, it's already been patented. So, you know what I mean? It's already been created and now it's currently released. So there's more to it than, you know, meets the eye. And if you're watching the media and you believe the media, and I'm not saying you can have to not do what they say because, you know, I'm just saying mainstream media are the cabal. So if you're following them and believing them, then you're being taking you know you've been led astray as you've been your whole life because it seems to be word out on the street that the truth is soon to be revealed i mean look at all those sealed indictments right about to be coming out so this is a time going to show your spiritual growth it's going to show what you've done in all your previous oppositions what have you done in previous times and previous, um, you know, opposition times? Have you done a lot of things that I'm going to give you a list of? Have you done the victim and so forth? Because your spiritual growth, which is, which is going to come out, it's going to be evident of who you are in, in these upcoming times. Now, if you're watching this, you would, you've done some work because you won't watch this if you haven't. You've done some work and the healers are coming together if and i want you to think about the planet you it looks like it's bad right it looks like it's bad but let's have a think about it we've got more people that meditate ever we've got more people that believe in law of attraction we've got more books out there healers can be healers with less shame and with more pride i mean there is more spiritual growth on the planet than there ever was so people are learning about putting their energy out to create something to create what they want more than ever this is become now common knowledge and it's almost you're ignorant if you don't know about the, the laws of energy you have not you know looked at it you have not tried to find out more to this planet but most people have but it doesn't matter if you haven't but most people have so if you think about that concept it means there's so much growth in you there's so much growth in the planet we have now laws that say cruelty to animals is an offense cruelty to children is an offense there is so much new laws that say in you know in humanity is is a crime well all of that all of that energy is now coming up it's bubbled up it's busted and the coronavirus is a little like we have an enemy trying to uh get us on that last 
hold, that last don't bust free. We're going to get you. And it's almost like you're in a relationship and you want to get out of a controlling relationship. You want to bust free of something. Well, the corona, and, and then they get their last, you know, hold on you, that last intimidation, that last, you know, you've got to fight for all your might to get out. Well, that's a bit like coronavirus. It's like, you know what, I'm busting out. And then the truth is revealed. So this is this last ditch effort to try and control, but the horse has already bolted. It's too late. Yeah, well, you know, someone's saying it's about Jesus, not numerology. Well, you know what? Yeah, it's your belief, John. You can believe, so I'm saying that uh, your growth will lead you straight to hell. What? Your spiritual growth will lead you straight to hell. There is only, yeah, so you know what? Uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, well, you know what? If you want to judge, if people want to be judgmental and go, you know, if you don't believe somebody, then uh, don't believe your way of thinking, well, that's fine. You know what? We're a law of attraction, so whatever you believe comes back to you. I don't mind. I don't mind what people think. But anyway, let's take a look at the list now that I'm going to put up on what an opposition, because you've all had opposition. I met a guy that uh, was in Iraq and he was, he almost died. I think he said five times and he was a, he was a prisoner and he was tortured and his life was just on the edge on the edge of surviving being in you know locked up and by these terrorists and uh or you know or right on the edge and he survived unfortunately his egyptian prisoner didn't you know and so he lived in iraq in that war was just hell but what came out of him was something incredible like when you meet this person he's the most spiritual like he's just gone beyond to another dimension. You meet him and he has so much gratitude that he gets up every morning happy to be alive. He gets up every morning saying, you know, I'm free. I'm in this. He's now living in Australia. Uh, he, what that opposition and the enemy did to him was take him to his freedom. So this is really what we're up to, you know what I mean? So let's take a look at this list. So, you know, if you've got an enemy or you've got some opposition, there's me, you've, you've got to use it and turn your pain into your power because let's have a look at your past. Let's look at people's past. Why do some people say cancer was the best thing that ever happened to them? Why do they say that, you know, um, it changed me? They got rid of, they stopped being in toxic relationships. They took care of their health. They no longer did a job they didn't want to do. They, they found their freedom by letting go their control in their life. This is what this is all about. And if you've been working at that, and a lot of people have, a lot of people are just about off the matrix anyway, or are off the matrix. A lot of them are already in knowing that there's good going to come from this. They feel it. They know it. We have so many people I meet that they're going, you know, this is a good thing. How incredible is that? They understand that there's more to what we've what we see on the media, there's far more. In fact, it's all reversed. Whatever you see on the media is reversed. And in, in fact, what you see, whoever has been promoted by mainstream media, media, they have paid a price for that. It keeps showing up to me. It keeps showing up. All right, so let's take a look at it. An enemy will cause fear and panic. So what can you get out of that? Because it's only in your pain do you grow. It's only in that expansion do you decide to, you know, take that energy and convert it. Because if, when they're, if you're all happy and calm, there's not much energy pushes you to be more. It's, it's, we're in a, a phase of this life where contrast changes us because the whole planet hasn't really changed enough, right? There's still this underneath darkness, there's uh, abuse, in, in many forms, it's still existing and majority of people haven't woken up. Well, you living now, people in their homes, they've got nothing to do, right? So they'll start looking at the internet. They start actually waking up. All of this isolation is going to wake them up. They're going to go, well, now I'm not my job. Who am I? Now I've got to deal with this relationship. Well, what is this? What did I base my life on? If this 
this isolation and control over us is going to push us to our freedom. It's quite amazing. You know, people are going, I've got time now. Let's go find out, you know, and, and you know what? The horse is bolted. You can't control what now is, is out there on the internet. People will still find a way. If you want to know and energetically you love truth, it comes to you. You have someone that goes, hey, watch this. So you and your isolation and being separate from everybody and your work and all of this confusion makes you realize what's in your energy field. You have to deal with your own energy. You have to see all the issues that have been in the past. It's now just you and your energy. You're no longer distracted. So who are you? You know what I mean? This isolation is going to make people go, well, am I at peace or now am I more stressed? Am I a victim of this or is this my opportunity to become empowered and, and be creative? We've, and, and do I already have my identity or have I now lost it now that I've lost my connection to my job and to whatever I was doing and all of this. So how have I taken care of my health? Have I neglected it? So and now am I vulnerable if, if let's say the virus is out there? Or am I totally good? Am I, is my immune system good because I've taken care of myself? Or have I run my health down because I've decided to do a job that wrecks me or I've decided to not care or I've been in a relationship that, that's not caring about me? So, and you might go, this coronavirus has no meaning. It's got no message. It's a futile exercise. It's like destructive. Or does it have a meaning and a message? Everybody, every opposition has a meaning and a message. Every person will reflect something in you. So you will know by your reaction to the coronavirus. Are you getting a message now? You have to find the message. You have to go, gosh, I have to reassess my life. I have to look at who I am. I have to find out what I really love. Do I really want to live this life, the same life? Because guess what? Life isn't going to be the same. So anyone that's done all the work is cool. And you might be a little uncool, so you might be doing a little bit more work. And those that are really in fear and, like, stressing out, Obviously, you've got to do work. It's it's going to reflect all of your fears, your insecurities, you know, your dysfunctions. So, and then you've got here, you've got destruction of the planet. Have we been contributing or have, you know, to the destruction of the planet or have we been proactive? Because the planet is supporting this breakdown. We have a stopping of, you know, abuse to animals now because you know that that we had a picture of some people letting go elephants you know they're letting them go because no one is there to none of the tourists are there so how great is that okay so now i'm going to go through some more on the list we have awareness and meditation you know, when you're aware, you can feel if things are working. This, this, this coronavirus is amazing. It is stopping the whole planet. It's so faster than I ever thought it would come. It's just taken us by surprise. And it's like there's a whole shutdown. Now the world will not be the same after this. And this is your opportunity if you feel you haven't done your spiritual work or you haven't feel you feel that you've got unresolved things. This is your time, isn't it, to resolve everything, to grow more, to be part of this new evolution of this new world. Then, yeah, so what are you going to gain from coronavirus? It's like gaining something from, uh, you know, an enemy. You might say to yourself, well, I'm not going to, you've got someone that's opposed to you. You might go, well, I'm going to love myself more. I'm not going to allow that anymore. You know, I'm going to make my own decisions and not agree to what they say. I'm not going to believe in what's said. I'm going to connect to source and let that guide me. You know, I'm going to grow. And if you were to ask me what the meaning of life is, the meaning of this life is to grow spiritually and that means to get out of, go get uncomfortable and do what's it fully in integrity do the integral thing the integral thing is to put yourself love yourself love your energy heal yourself overcome and 
put that first and then spread that message to those around you. You can't spread that message unless you do it yourself. And thank you for those beautiful hearts because I can see them coming up now in the Facebook group. Love you too, Natash. So this is incredible. Like I've now got my head around the coronavirus. I've got my, you know, my piece about it. And it was a bit like when Trump came in and my ex at the time, and I knew I knew nothing about Trump and it wasn't positive that I knew, but he said to me, he goes, well, what do you think about him becoming president? And I remember going, I answered, I go, well, you know what? And not that he, I didn't think he was a positive role model, but I go, it's going to be fine. I don't know. There's something fine about it. And, you know, Trump isn't one of those uh, Illuminati, peop Illuminati people. He's not one of the... He's not one of them and he's better. And, and the fact that the mainstream media hate him so much is a, means that, well, he must be doing something. But that's up to you to work out. That's up to you to go look behind the scenes. And I actually saw Trump with uh, Bill Gates uh, and, the, and they were interested to know because Trump is against vaccinations. So he's the first president I know that's against vaccinations. So in an interesting uh, perspective. So anyway, this is about uh, all of who you are is going to come out right now. Who are you? It's going to come out. It's going to show are you in peace? Are you in calm? Are you connected to source? You know, are you living your soul's purpose? But that's okay. You know, of course, there's going to be different levels, but now is your time to continue with your feelings and your purpose and reassess your life and there is a new world coming and we deserve a new world the animals the children the child trafficking and, and all of that you know in humanity it needs to change but when we look at we look at the planet a lot of us has agreed to that right and then you have the light workers that are actually here and that's another thing how could this not be something great happening when you look at the, the souls that are born on the planet? These indigo star seeds, you know, children and these pure souls, they're the most incredible people, right? Um, they need a better world. It, just, it doesn't make sense that the world is collapsing when we have done so much work and these souls have come to this planet. And you know, you're, you have children, you look at them and you go, they're just purity. And they've got this amazing connection to source. I watch how they love cooperation. I love how they're not competitive. They like the unity. They they lo love animals. There's children that a two-year-old won't eat a chicken because they don't want to harm a chicken. You know, they're, they're, there's this new energy on the planet. And all of that has forced the planet, even though this looks like an enemy, the best things can turn into the, the worst things can turn into the best things. And if you look at your life, take a look, reflect, you go, when was the worst time of my life? And what came out of it? Now, I've had many bad times in my life, really bad, but I didn't understand law of attraction. I didn't know how it worked. So it's always reflection and now I really know what an uh, opposition is and I, I go, all right, what are you telling me? And I work it all out and I see how it led me to something amazing. Now, when you understand how opposition works and it's, it's actually pushing you either to change directions, to create something different, to believe something different, to, you know, um, just, you know, Remove something from your past that's still showing up. That All of that, because it's all a law of energy, it's not by chance. And opposition, which I've noticed sometimes when I was, I had a lot of opposition in a church I was in, and I loved the church, but then at the end it was bad. And, I, and the universe it made it so bad, but it had to be so bad because I was so committed to something in my blinded state. And it I got out because it was so bad, but that's the only way I would have got out because I was blinded back then. Well, time to take the blinkers off and I don't do opposition hard anymore. I go, okay, this is showing up and now this is all the reasons now. I did, here are some of the things that I've written on that list of what the opposite, the negativity is that can bring you to it, can make you clean your body out. If you've got negativity, you'll get yourself cleaner. 
if you if you if you are now stuck with yourself you're going to have to like decide to love yourself there's so much that good is coming from what looks like you know a false you know a false flag it's it it those that might go this is all false but you know what that's okay because even though there's opposition is that pain of everyone has right now is catapulting because guess what it's going to catapult a thousand a thousand years faster this way than everyone's sitting around trying to go change laws and try to wake up the masses but the thing is news on the street is it's going down news on the street is truth is going to be revealed or those sealed indictments are going to come out the truth will be revealed but might shock people and uh so but that's up to you to go do your research you've got your time now haven't you you've got your time to work out what's going on you've got your time out to work well, who are you in this crisis are you at peace are you evolving don't waste the time in all of the times that the universe has, or I've had times where it looked like I had an enemy or someone taking something from me or taking, you know, destroying something, I created something amazing. In all my crises, it's turned into, not all of them, because the first ones I didn't understand, I just went through stress. But after a while, I just thought, okay, be proactive, let's be proactive. And now I understand I can work out the messages. So there's many messages. So I did write a blog post called The uh, the Danger of Sending Love and Light Love and Light to Your Enemies. And that listed you might have enemies for many reasons. This coronavirus will be different for everybody. The meaning will be different. So I wanted to put this a message that something great is about to transform because we are like the whole planet's now locked down and it's like that final grip on us <laughs> the final freedom and sharon says this is definitely an individual thing but as a collective we will grow yeah it is very individual absolutely i totally agree so you got to find what it means to you because it'll means a diff something different and it and what will happen is the, the more stressed people feel it will show that stress that you're feeling is the trauma that's been from childhood and it makes you deal with it right now because it can't just sit there it'll make you deal with the trauma and the fears from your childhood yeah well that's just my two cents worth and you can you know use what works you know leave the rest i think you we all are here to find our own truth and to find our own connection and we are here to you know assist you know people do that process and get off the matrix pain can get you off the matrix so this is time to get off this matrix. This is time to no longer be controlled. And, it, and it's a strange feeling to think there's a world of peace, there's a world of humanity, there's a world of kindness. That's like a, that's a world we have not known, but that is what we're moving into. And, I, and though those mass meditations, do you see what this is doing? It's bringing people together to have these mass meditations. How can not that not transform the world? How can not be that be creating something great so anyway i'm going to finish off now i wish you trust in the universe i wish you connection to the pure source energy i wish you peace in your heart and for you to see the beauty that is right here right now and to gain your power over all the powers that try to take it away from you and to know that you have control of this future, you have control over this situation and understand laws of attraction, you must let go the negative emotions because it only draws more of the same and go into the peace. And in that, you grow spiritually. In that, you recognise that there's far more to you than you knew. So wishing you blessings and love and all good things.